Hey guys, thank you for joining me for another segment of Wiggles Wednesdays. I will talk about the topic of the week as soon as I am back here in just a second. See you in a bit. This is Lynn. Uh, I am here for another segment of Wigless Wednesdays. And uh, what's going on with my hair? Still wearing it natural. Um, I have it in kind of two pigtails this week. Um, is that, I don't know if you want to call them ponytails. I don't know. What's the difference? Okay. Anyway, I just have them in two little po pig ponytails, whatever you want to call them. Uh, because I am still deciding what I want to do with my hair. <laughs> so by now, although I do tape ahead of time, we know who the president is and uh, I hope I'm happy with the decision. I hope we're all as a country happy with the decision. I hope this even airs next week because basically uh, people have been threatening war and all kind of stuff if Trump does not uh, win the election. So uh, I don't know, by this time when I release this video, maybe I'll even be able to release it, we'll see. So uh, yeah. <sighs> okay, so what I want to talk about this week is selfishness or self-care hmm. okay i've talked about self-care before in the past uh in this in the sense of what you need to do for yourself um and this is kind of the same topic i kind of wanted to touch on some things that i had discussed on my facebook page not so long ago about a situation that i have with a friend and this friend and i as of today are no longer friends um, because of the way that this person treated me when they were going through a rough patch. And the question was something like this. When a person is going through a rough patch or a rough period in their life, does it give them the right to treat people like crap? Is that okay? Okay. Some people, most people said no. There was a couple of people that said yes. Okay. And let me kind of present my situation. My situation is that I had a friend who, like I said, is no longer my friend. Um, I would listen to this person lament over their troubles every time we talk. Oh, I got this going on. Oh, this is this and this is that. And I would listen, you know, because that's what a friend is supposed to do. You're supposed to listen or that's what we've been taught. At, at, to be a good friend, you are a listener, right? So I listened and I listened and I listened and I'd offer my suggestions. I, I give my advice about what I thought could, could help make a situation better. And I continue to listen and I continue to listen and I continue to listen, okay? Now, all throughout this process, I'm still having my own issues. I'm still having my own things that I have to deal with that I need someone to talk to, right? Whenever I try to talk to this person, guess what they would do? Oh, well, my stuff is this, and oh, well, my stuff is this, and me, 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 okay? Or they would sometimes fall asleep on the phone, change the subject. I, would, I found that I was never able to talk about my stuff or to get my items out or vent like I needed to vent because this person was always routinely just talking about their stuff, right? And so one day, I brought it up and I said, hey, I re really needed a friend these past couple of weeks. It's been kind of hard on me. Can you like listen to me and like let me talk about what I need to talk about? Well, it's been hard on me for two years. Stuff has been bad on me for two and a half years and the past couple of weeks have been doubly rough and you know, I just don't understand what you mean. Three weeks, three weeks is nothing. Like it was a competition. Like just because I was going through something recently, it made it not as important as what he had been going through all this time, right? Um, and that was kind of the breaking point for me. You know, um, I got called selfish. You're selfish because you know, you're thinking about yourself. And I'm like, well, if we're truly friends, it should be a reciprocal relationship, right? I give. You give, I take, you take. That's what it is. It's a back and forth exchange. It's a back and forth in energy exchange, right? Not so much you dump on me and I pour in and you dump and I pour in because eventually I'm not going to have anything left if no one is there to pour back into me, right? And so I basically was like, well, hey, what about me? What about my stuff? What about my issues? When are you going to listen to me? When are you going to be here for me? When are you going to talk to me? And I got back, you're selfish because you're making it all about you. You know I'm going through it. I'm like, what you've been going through? And your situation has not changed. My stuff is recent. Can we talk about my stuff? Well, no. You know, you're being selfish. And I, I don't understand why you can't listen. And you don't understand this. And it was it, it flipped back into all about him and his problems, right? And the only point I was trying to make is that I have problems, too. I have issues, too, that I need to bend and talk about as well. So, like I'm there for you, like I try to support you, you should also be there for me if you're truly my friend, right? Never got that. 
<laughs> never got it never got it and when i posted the question on facebook i got so many comments like 98 comments about it and most people were like no it's not right a couple people were like well yeah you should be compassionate you should you know be kind and considerate and talk this person through this because this person is going through a rough patch and yes okay if you know this person treats everybody around them like crap if they're going through it and my argument is if i'm going through something that's not that person's fault if I'm going through something that's not right for me to, to, to dump it on you, make you feel bad or make your day bad because I'm having a bad day, right? And the example that I use is if I come in and I and I, and I I slap you every day, eventually you're going to get tired of getting slapped, right? I, that's kind of what this situation turned into. It's kind of turned into something where it started to feel like, you know, it wasn't a true reciprocal friendship. It wasn't a true reciprocal friendship. Um, and that started to bother me because I felt like I was giving, 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 and nothing came back, um, to me in the, it, it, and all I really wanted was a listening ear. All I really wanted was, you know, Hey, listen to me and give me your opinion. Like we used to talk in the very beginning when we first became friends, we had that. And, uh, it just really kind of turned into something not good toward the end. Um, and I'm, I'm okay with the decision to end the friendship because at some point a friendship should be two-sided. It should be back and forth. It should be, you know, reciprocal. That's very important to me, the reciprocity. So um, I'm happy with my decision that I made to end it because at the end of the day, I know that I was a good friend to this person and I recognize that this person was not always a good friend to me. And sometimes you have to move on with people and realize that maybe where you are in your life, they are in their life and you have to like let people go. And that's what I ended up having to do. So I just wanted to basically say sometimes when you stand up for yourself, in situations like these, it's about self-care as well. It's about caring for yourself and recognizing when, you know, you're not getting the things that you need out of your friendships, whether they be, you know, just regular friendships, romantic relationships, or even, you know, at your place of employment or anything that you do in your life, you should feel like something is coming back to you, whether that's a paycheck, whether that's a, a listening ear, whether that is love. You should get those things back so that you can be poured back into. And I think that's what I missed out in this particular situation that I was not poured back into. I was always constantly giving, but nothing came back to me. Okay. So, and I have to recognize my worth and my value. And I want you guys to do that as well. That being said, I'm going to wrap this video up because I'm number one, I'm done. Number two, I'm running out of space on my SD card. And I don't want to get cut off in the middle of me talking. <laughs> that would not be good. A good look. So, uh, guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click the uh, the little red box that says subscribe and the bell icon next to it so that you can be notified whenever I post a video here to my channel. Also, guys, like I like to always say, be better today than you were yesterday. Be better tomorrow than you were today. And I will see you very, very soon for another segment of Wiggles Wednesdays. Bye-bye.